Andrea D'Angelo and I fight glory kickboxing rules and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I started training martial arts when I was nine years old and I started competing at 15 years old. Um, that was 12 years ago and fell in love with it and still doing it. <laughs> I'm fighting my fourth pro fight um, on September 11th at the Combat at the Capital in New York City. Training is awesome. I have a lot of great support, great teammates. Um, Sensei Lou Neglia is great. He's been guiding me and we've been working on a few things that we're going to use to implement into this fight. It's going really well. I'm very confident. Um, I feel like I'm going to adjust accordingly to whichever situation that presents itself. And, um, you know, putting good vibes out there, I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> Definitely the people that I inspire, younger generation that are getting into it and um, learning and want to compete. I like to, you know, set a positive example for them. Um, I have students of my own that I teach and I try and push towards that direction. And um, I do it for me also, you know, it's, it makes me feel great and it makes me work towards something, a goal, achieving it. So, that's it. Uh, we offer martial arts and self-defense programs, cardio kickboxing as well for those that don't want the contact. Uh, we have a fight team, I have a lot of junior fighters that are up and coming, female and male. And um, we offer a little bit of everything. We uh, have fundraisers every uh, six months at the gym. Each time we do it for a different fundraiser, a different uh, organization. And uh, the fighters come in, new, to advanced fighters and they display what they've been training in front of people. We have about 200 people and so it's a smaller event just to get you know fighters feet wet and do it for a good cause and you're doing something you love so it benefits both. I love it because you know uh, people expect the guy to know how to throw a punch or know how to throw a kick or fight in general so when girls get in there they're like very impressed by it, you know, and so I like I like that. I like to be underestimated, I guess, and prove something. Um, surprisingly, no, and a lot of people are surprised when I say that. Um, I like the striking and I like the stand up too much to want to invest any time in the groundwork. I respect it a hundred percent, but it's not for me. I like I like the kickboxing, the striking. Doritos and cheese fries. I don't know why, but I love cheesy things. <laughs> I'm a fat kid and I love food. <laughs> um, I would like, alongside with my trainer, Lou Neglia, to possibly win a pro professional world title one day. It's, it, there's a lot of hard times, but you know, it, the good times outweigh the hard times for sure. Uh, it's not an easy sport, it takes a lot of dedication. Um, it's a male dominated sport, which females are just starting to become, you know, bigger into it. So just keep pushing forward and believe in yourself, that's most important.